Now from the Columbia Basin, your local news source, this is iFiber One News, presented in high definition. The number one source for real-time local news, local sports headlines, and our very own Weather Center forecast covering the entire Columbia Basin. With your iFiber One News team, reporting news in real time as it's happening. From the iFiber Communications HD broadcast studio in Ephrata, Washington, this is iFiber One News, and it starts now. Welcome to iFiber One News. I'm Sarah Brewer reporting news from around the Columbia Basin for Tuesday, September 10th. Tonight we report on the latest hearing for Nathan Brooks, and we learn about a building in Lakeview that was destroyed last weekend. In sports, Bob Kirkpatrick tells about the Warden Lady Cougars, the Mariners, and the Seattle Seahawks. Our spotlight story tonight is about how a group of agencies and businesses are working together to expand rail service in Moses Lake. And we have the latest weather forecast for the Columbia Basin from the i Fiber One Weather Center. Our top story tonight, a hearing to determine whether 14-year-old Nathan Brooks will be tried as an adult, was delayed for the seventh time. The Moses Lake boy is charged with two counts of attempted murder in the first degree in Grant County Juvenile Court after allegedly shooting his parents while they were sleeping in March. Defense attorney Lillian Couture told Judge Pro Tem Doug Anderson she is still waiting for a report from her expert. Deputy Prosecutor Steve Johnson said the prosecution's expert finished their report. They set another hearing for September 30th to discuss when a hearing to determine whether Brooks will be tried as an adult will be held. Brooks is accused of shooting his parents as they were sleeping at about 10 p.m. on March 8th. He reportedly admitted to prying open a gun safe, grabbing a pistol, and waiting in his bedroom for about 90 minutes before shooting them. Traffic was stopped on State Route 28 last weekend for a fire that destroyed an unoccupied 3,000 square foot building in the 100 block of State Route 28 in Lakeview. The cause of the fire is under investigation and the Grant County Fire Marshal's Office is investigating it as a suspicious fire. Although the building was directly across the highway from Grant County Fire District 7 station, Fire Chief Kirk Shepard said it had been burning for some time before it was reported at about 2.40 a.m. on Saturday. By then, he said, the wooden structure dating back to the 1930s was nearly engulfed in flames. County Deputy Fire Marshal Nathan Poplowski said there were active power lines to the building that were arcing when firefighters arrived. No one was hurt in the blaze and there was no fire damage to surrounding buildings. The building is owned by Bruce Gusky of Wenatchee and was being used for storage. It had been unoccupied for about eight years. 25 firefighters responded to the scene, taking more than two hours to extinguish the fire. Fire District 13 in Ephrata assisted Fire District 7 firefighters. The Grant County Tea Party is holding a rally to commemorate the 12th anniversary of the 9-11 terrorist attacks. The event is from noon to 3 p.m. tomorrow at, in downtown Moses Lake at Sinkayu Square at the corner of 3rd Avenue and Ash Street. It's aimed at remembering the nearly 3,000 people who were killed after terrorists took over four airplanes and crashed two into the World Trade Center and one into the Pentagon building. The fourth crashed in a Pennsylvania field. The group Im invites people to bring signs. For more information, contact Dave Bolton at 509-989-0602 or send an email to annmix at annmix at gmail.com. This weekend, balloons and rockets take to the air in Quincy. Reporter Vivian Huang gives us the information about the annual Quincy Balloon Festival. The launching of balloons at sunrise will kick off Quincy's annual hot air balloon festival on Saturday. In conjunction with Quincy's Farmer Consumer Awareness Day, the hot air balloon festival is held every year on the second Saturday of September at Parties on the Green to help promote tourism in Quincy. The sunrise launches will happen on Saturday and Sunday mornings and will be free to the public for photo opportunities. The festival begins at 4.30 p.m. with an array of food vendors, beer and wine gardens, a live band performance, and an epic fireworks display to cap off the night. The cost for attendance is $20 for a carload of up to six people. For a full schedule of events, visit www.partiesonthegreen.com. With i One News, this is Vivian Huang. Thank you, Vivian. 
Each of the people you see here has warrants for their arrest and is wanted by various law enforcement agencies. If you see any of these people, the DOC asks that you do not attempt to detain or apprehend them, but to call police. You can also call the Department of Corrections at 509-764-6180 during the day or 509-762-1160 after 5 p.m. We'll be back after these messages with the latest from our iFiber One Weather Center, sports, and more news.